Forgive my bluntness, but I can't help but notice the odd Western response to the Charlie Hebdo tragedy. It's so abstract. The rallies, the symbolism, the arm-in-arm marches, the dramatic storyline between freedom of speech, the pen, versus religious fanaticism, the gun. Terrorists raid a magazine headquarters and shoot people, and the first response is for millions of people to walk with signs, to flood Twitter with clever hashtags. Public leaders and the media are claiming that this is all to show solidarity. But I ask, to whom is everybody showing their solidarity? To their neighbors who already agree with them and who already share the same culture? All of this seems like a peculiar way to react to an act of terrorism. If I were feeling cynical, I'd say that Charlie Hebdo is being used by some people as a social media opportunity, complete with Twitter hashtags and memes. It's an excuse for people to take selfies and identify themselves with a cause to show people how civilized they are. Now, if that sounds harsh, take a look at some photos from the big rally in France. You'll find these at my website, steve-patterson.com. Political leaders locking arms and marching in solidarity. Now, what that means is photographers and organizers getting paid to stage a photo op for political gain. Most people saw one photo in the media. You have a line of notable European leaders all locking arms, and it looks like there's a big crowd behind them. It looks like the crowd of regular folks is participating in a rally, but another picture was taken from a different angle, and you can see what it actually looked like. Politicians separated from their constituency, quartered off from the general public to create a pretty photo op. No different than a president throwing out a pitch at a baseball game. This image was deliberately crafted by a group of political staffers to make their bosses look good. So I ask, What have these rallies accomplished? Whose mind has been changed by public demonstrations? Surely no radical Muslims. Painting a dramatic narrative of Western civilization versus barbarism sounds romantic, and it certainly whips up people's emotions. But does it do any good? Does it affect anything outside of our own emotions? I don't think so. I don't bring this up to be a curmudgeon. I sincerely want to make a difference. And I'm convinced that idly demonizing acts of terrorism and showing solidarity with each other is pointless. A more effective response, though it's considered heresy in the West, is to see terrorists as rational humans, not as raving lunatics. The terrorists, like every other human, had reasons for their actions, and they acted in accordance with their beliefs. If we want to prevent such occurrences from happening again, We must understand their reasoning and motivation, rather than simply characterize them as evil, with no more elaboration needed. Now, I'm not defending their actions, of course. I'm simply recognizing that they have beliefs which should not be immediately thrown in the waste bin. If Charlie Hebdo is a tragedy, then where exactly did the terrorists go wrong in their thinking? Was it the religious fanaticism, their particular interpretation of the Quran? Was it political extremism, not grounded in rationality? Was it their cultural beliefs about violence? The best way to answer these questions is to listen to the terrorists themselves. On many occasions, radical Muslims have explained the rationale for their actions. It turns out they aren't foaming at the mouth savages. For example, take some audio footage from a grocery store in France where one terrorist took several hostages. He explained quite clearly that his actions were because of the French military's behavior in the Middle East. Frenchmen pay taxes to their government, and their government kills innocent people in the Middle East. Therefore, this terrorist was going to exact revenge for the Frenchmen's complacency. A French radio station that called into that market during the siege recorded what appears to be the terrorist trying to justify his actions to his hostages. We're going to play this to you so you can better understand, perhaps, the mind of a militant fundamentalist and why he says he did what he did. Here it is. Oh, no, oh, no. 
les attaques. Je pense à ceux qui avaient Bachar Al-Assad en Syrie. Mettez du chimique sur les gosses, là. Que tout le monde qui torturait les gens. On peut intervenu pendant des années. Il oh, y a quelqu'un qui vient qui fait ça Bombardier, coalition de 50 000 pays, tout ça. Pourquoi ils sont dans zéro Partez intervenir à la base. Moi, je vous le dis à vous. Je ne pas être au courant de ce qui se passe. Et ça, c'est bientôt fini. Comme moi, pour venir, il y aura de plus en plus. Et vous êtes de plus en plus. Donc, qu'ils arrêtent. Je leur dirais bien qu'ils arrêtent. Ils arrêtent d'attaquer les pays amis. Ils arrêtent de dévoiler nos femmes. Ils arrêtent de mettre nos frères en prison pour rien du tout. Les taxes, les trucs, je vais vous payer des impôts. Hein C'est obligé, mais je ne paye pas mes impôts, moi. Oui, tu peux te désavouer, mais pas payer tes impôts. Pas mes oui, impôts. Mais, oui, 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 mais quand moi je paye mes impôts, que je veux, et pour la route, je suis pas d'école. Quand tu vas payer tes impôts, moi, quand tu vas payer tes impôts, pour la somme que je vais leur donner, 30% elle va aller à la défense, 30% à, 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 à je sais pas, l'agriculture, etc. etc. Tu payes nos impôts, mais tu peux de mal à personne. D'accord, mais moi je dis ça. que tu amènes tous les individus. Tu arrives à suivre une carte. Là pour Charlie Hebdo, vous arrivez à se finir pour élire un président, et bien faites la même chose en vous disant, faites des manifestations et dites, c'est les musulmans tranquilles, ils vous me laissent tranquille. Pourquoi oh, vous ne le faites pas Nous, chez nous, c'est la loi du talion, vous la connaissez très bien. C'est la loi du talion. Ça veut dire, Allah SWT, il a dit dans le Coran, quand il transgresse, transgresser à transgression égale. C'est-à-dire que nous, à la base, si on touche aux enfants, si on touche aux femmes, si on touche aux non-combattants, si on touche aux vieillards, on n'a plus aux hommes qui combattent. Vous ne savez pas ce qui se passe dans les pays musulmans, vous ne savez pas ce Votre armée là, ils ne veulent pas mettre les pieds là-bas, ils n'arrivent pas à commencer. Ils n'arrivent pas. Ils ne pensaient pas ça parce que c'est un musulman. Jamais ils arriveront à nous battre. Ils sont pas partout où ils ont été, jamais ils ont réussi. Allah il est avec nous. Comme il a dit, c'est enfin, quelqu'un que vous connaissez. Comme Abel Laden, vous connaissez. Donc, comme Abel Laden, Allah il a dit, vous n'allez jamais pousser à la paix, c'est nous qui ne poussons pas à la paix en Palestine. Doesn't sound like the ramblings of some schizophrenic madman, does it? And until we recognize this, we will never persuade any radical Muslim who's on the fence about joining the same cause as these men. We must engage the ideas, both religious and political, if we want to dissuade future terrorists from being persuaded by bad ideas. The battle is not between insane jihadists and rational Westerners, and it's not between pious jihadists and evil Westerners. The simplistic good versus evil or rational versus irrational narrative is wrong in both directions. It's too easy to demonize one side or the other, and that's how wars get started. Now, I realize it might sound soft and weak, but if we sincerely want to persuade people to change, we must begin by listening to each other's ideas. And maybe, just maybe, all angry jihadists don't hate the West for our freedoms. And maybe, just maybe, the West is not engaged in some debaucherous assault on Islam or Christianity. The only way to find out is to muster up some basic level of respect for one another and listen. That would be a far more concrete and beneficial reaction to the Charlie Hebdo tragedy than creating symbolic art. If you like the sound of these ideas, if they resonate with you, then make sure to subscribe. And if you want to help create more content like this, then check out patreon.com slash Steve Patterson, and you can help support the creation of a more rational worldview. To read this article or to learn about my books, check out steve-patterson.com.